Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Rising Star Casinos Paddle Wheel Podcast. I'm Corey Gibson, and I'm joined with Bill Key, slot director. How are you, Bill? Good. Yourself? Hey, I'm doing good, man. Yeah. So we're going to touch on a few things today. Um, first, we're going to start with your slot machines that you have up here. Yeah, little slots, little table games. Okay. Short, uh, short someone, short uh, Selby. Oh, yeah, yeah. I substituted for Selby. He bailed on you. We're going to call it an upgrade. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, we're good. So slots, uh, got a lot of things going on. We're uh, Right now, we're fulfilling a lot of uh, customer requests. Um, we had some requests to get some video poker, some additional video poker in high limit. Check that box. Got some uh, some more video machines in high limit. We had a request to put a Kino on some bar top, so we did that on level three. So it's exciting uh, so taking you, requests. Yeah. So you really been busy. Yeah, I mean we like to to fulfill those when we can. Mm-hmm. I mean it doesn't hurt to ask if there's something you really would like to see us have or add. I'm not necessarily a huge Kino fan, but I love video. I'm not poker. a Kino fan, you know. Video yeah, poker, that's yeah, that's me yeah, right there. If, and the thing about video poker is I still struggle a little bit because you know you get your five cards and everything. Mm-hmm. So you're a, you're an expert, right? I you consider say yourself. How long have you been in the gaming industry? About 22 years. Yeah. Okay. You're an expert. So if I'm dealt an ace and then I have two fives and the other two cards are just like a three and a nine, what are what are you keeping? Well, there's a lot of things that play into that. So first I would ask, what game are you playing? Is it double-double bonus? Um, jacks are better. We'll do, we'll do jacks are better Jacks first. are better. So uh, jacks are better. The book says to keep the pair. Keep the pair. Right? So you're going for the three of a kind. Correct. Okay. But uh, it's kind of how you feel. Okay, I mean, so it's your own. Because me, I, I keep face cards. And right, I well, just you got to have jacks are better to win, mm-hmm. so I see where you're going there. But, yeah, the book says anytime you get a pair, keep the pair. Keep the pair. Yeah. Now, you said double, 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 the bonus poker, right? That's what right? I play is double, double Okay, and I, that's what I usually yeah. do, too. So, on that, what would you end up doing? Would you end up just keeping the aces? Because I think the aces pay a little they more. They do a little more. extra, but you also get... Bonuses for the different fours of a kind. Too, oh, so. that's right. Okay, yeah. yeah. So two, Twos, fours, threes, fours. Right. Gotcha. Yeah, so okay. I'd still probably keep the pair in that situation. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's a good one. Now, if I ever have it, I'll say, if someone loses, I'll say, hey, Bill Key, that's, that's a guy you got to right. go complain to. Well, I mean, the <laughs> real trick on that comes into, let's say, instead of a pair of fives, you had a pair of twos okay. to go with that ace. Do you keep the ace and the twos? Because you get more for the kicker. Oh, really? Right. So what oh, do you do that's then? that's right. right. Just four twos with the kicker. Right. So then yeah, what? I mean, I'd probably keep all three of them. And it's totally up to the player. I mean, yeah. So I, I do know. it a lot. I end up just keeping every card, and it's just like, I mean, you're not going to win anything doing that. No, no. Not unless <laughs> it's a for sure win. Well, anything else new in slots? You got any more new machines? or? Uh, we haven't got any new machines on the floor yet. Still got some contracts pending. Okay. Hoping something coming soon. Um, Moving we, anything around or... Yeah, yeah, we're trying to make some room down on level one for the expansion with the Jack's Deli. Jack's area. Deli, yeah. yeah. I just I talked to Angie and asked her if there's any movement on that, and she says it's still a little slow. On yeah, it, still so. a little slow, but I'm trying to get ahead of the game and start yeah. moving some I machines. I went down there and I looked and I was wondering what was going on. Yeah. But so you're going to move those machines somewhere elsewhere in the, the floor? Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. yeah, we're looking. They're looking to expand out, so I want to give them some space. So. Okay, how many do we have on the floor right, right now? Right now? We're uh, just a little over 6.30. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. that's really good. Yeah, we're doing good. Yeah. 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 All right. So, um, table games. I did, uh, did you watch Jimmy's video on how to play dice? I did. <laughs> what an expert. I, I, I've played dice probably half a dozen times. I've learned more in that video than I did playing dice. I think he's forgot more about dice craps or whatever yeah. than I've ever known myself. Yeah. I mean, how long has it been since he's actually oh, yeah, dealt the game he, yeah, and he's just exactly. spitting it out yeah. like it's nothing? I mean, all in all, that was like, what, a 20, 30-minute video? Yeah. <laughs> and I want to tell the podcast, it, you got to see it. Go to YouTube, Rising Star Casino, How to Play Craps. You're going to have Jimmy on there. Our buddy Matt Plank is shooting the dice, firing. I'll tell you what, he's going to be our shooter if I ever go yeah, in, yeah, you know? <laughs> our absentee Selby, he's yeah, sitting exactly. box on that. He's in the video. But... uh he, uh, the pass line I was confused on for the longest time, you know, to you got to make the number first, and I wasn't aware. And then getting the seven eleven, see, I've done that a couple of times, and they pay me, and I'm sitting there like, how do I do that? 
Right. So, I mean, now getting a further explanation and then also the very first thing is how to buy in and everything. Yeah. I've walked up and been like, oh, $100. And they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Dice are out. Yeah, yeah exactly. easy there, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, the superstitions, I uh, <laughs> I like that part of it. Plus all the, like, prop bets. Yeah. The C&E, the horn, all them, them. Them are real good to touch on. And even getting the points, I didn't know because I, I hear all about it. Oh, you know, we got seven points on the dice table. And I'm just like, how can you keep track? And then Selby showing the buttons, right? And I'm where they like, place yeah. it, yeah. <laughs> and it literally just one, two, three, four. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, oh, okay. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that was a great video, and uh, they got more coming out. My understanding is they they shot a blackjack tutorial similar to that craps, and it's gonna be coming out soon, hopefully. Okay. Or it might have already been released. And you know, I always was one of the ones that was kind of scared table games and everything. But even you know. You just have to do it. And then once you do it the first time, you're going to end up yeah. doing it. Like, you, no reason to be scared yeah, if that's what you in. like to play. Yeah. And dealer, they'll help you out. Yeah. And ours, I mean, we have a bunch of good ones. I saw Jerry Morano down there teaching someone how to play and trying to help them and tell them what the rule of the thumb is and everything else. So, I mean, that's always good Yeah, to with see. our staff. I yeah, mean, you just got to dive in. They're going to help you. Yeah. Um, plus, these videos have been nice. They've been really good, actually. Oh, yeah. Um, roulette's coming. I hear that's the next one they're going to record is a roulette video. Okay. So that ought to be interesting. I wonder how many years it's been since Jimmy did roulette. <laughs> so good luck <laughs> to him on that one. And he, he knows it. He, right. He does. But, um, I mean, back to, the, back to Dice, I mean, I remember – Tell one story. We had uh, the longest roll I ever seen at our place. It was it was a Sunday actually in July, and uh, I I left and I it was right before the Reds game was starting, I believe, and it was so probably right around. It wasn't a day game. It was late. I think they had like a double header or something, and it was like seven o'clock or something. And I was like, oh, I'm, well, I'm gonna get out of here, and I left, and then. They said uh, someone rolled for two and a half hours. Wow. The game started in first pitch, and the roll didn't end until it was back when Chapman played, rolled as Chapman. Wow. And he came in to close the game, and the next thing you know. I'd have loved to been on that I know, table. right? <laughs> Do you know how many points they hit during that roll? I have. Uh, I think they were maxed out, I believe. I mean, they were just firing, firing. Wow. I mean, two and a half hour roll, and I, like I said, I mean, at that point, I mean, I worked there for three years and never seen anything like yeah. that. So, I mean, That's seen, crazy. You know, they say it's once in a lifetime, but, mm-hmm. I mean, heck, I think if you roll for an hour, you'll be okay doing that too, right? The way our craps table is, I mean, you just got to get on that table. Yeah, exactly. We're just handing money out. So. <laughs> it's hot. Right? Well, that'll conclude uh, Rising Star Casino's Paddle Wheel Podcast. We'll see you later.